there was a major crypto hack and I, I want to go through all the details and and just because this is a perfect opportunity to understand all the issues we have in crypto security and what why crypto is so difficult to get right and how Qantas fixes this. For people who aren't familiar with modern software engineering, uh, the, generally you're not writing most of the software you're using yourself. You're using some kind of library or a package of other code written by somebody else and there's all these package managers and you say, oh, I want this library so that already implements, say, this cryptography or this design pattern and I can just bring in the building blocks and build something new with these existing pieces. And that's the beauty of the open source system. But, but actually, uh, it brings with it a lot of security issues because you, know, you import one library, which imports a bunch of other libraries, and hopefully there's no security issues in any of them, but uh, sometimes there are. And that's exactly what happened here. The, uh, so NPM is a package manager for the JavaScript ecosystem. So generally anything that touches uh, like a website or uh, you know a, a lot of uh, even desktop apps now use uh, JavaScript. Um, also servers do as well. So uh, this you know this touches everything. And this package manager, uh, there was a, a popular developer who uh, w had made a lot of popular libraries, they got included in a lot of different projects and their account got hacked. And then somebody uploaded a malicious version of these packages uh, with just a little bit of malware embedded in it. And, um, and it's, it's, it's serious because, uh, you know, I mean, you can see here, one of the things it does is, is it looks to see if you have an Ethereum wallet. So it's, it's checking, does your address is your address visible to the malware? And if so, it wants to intercept that and swap it in with uh, the attacker's address. And it does this with a, uh, so this is, you could call this a supply chain attack because you're, you're poisoning something that's upstream of the software you're using. There's, there's some package that's being used you know, uh, in the ecosystem and it gets poisoned with malware. And then everyone else who uses it also gets poisoned. So that's the supply chain attack. But this is also an address poisoning attack because when it finally reaches the user, what it's doing is it's swapping out the address you want to send money to. It swaps it out with the at attacker's address. And uh, it even it has this very clever function where it chooses. So the attacker has made a whole bunch of addresses that they control. And it uses the address that is most similar to the one you're trying to send to. So it swaps it out. And if you didn't check every letter of that address, you might be sending it to the wrong one. And, uh, and it might even be uh, poisoning your point of reference. So, you know, so for example, if you send on a hardware wallet, you have, uh, uh, you know, you it shows you the address you're sending to. And that's the, the sort of, uh, that's the truth. That's the one it's signing. But then you, if you compare that with the software that maybe you copied it from somewhere, uh, you know, a website or something, uh, a, a text message, well, it could be anything that, that touches the UI might be compromised. And so if those two addresses are different, that's a sure sign that something's up. Um, but you, one of the things that, you know, we, people don't like reading the entire address. It seems like a bunch of random letters and numbers, and it essentially is, but it seems meaningless. So we don't put emphasis on it generally. A lot of people will be like, they'll check the first four, they'll check the last four, okay, it's probably right. In fact, a lot of wallets won't even show you the whole address without you really uh, trying. So uh, so this is, a, in my opinion, this is bad UX. And this is why we invented check phrases at Qantas. So a check phrase is actually something that any chain could use, but uh, just nobody bothered, bothered to think of it before us. And it's basically a way of showing you five words that are associated with your address and if, if the address is even slightly different, even one letter is different, then all five of those words change. And so five words is something that's human readable. You can easily remember them. You could memorize your five words. You could easily tell your friend over the phone, hey, I'm sending to these five words. And so that makes it a lot, that lowers the barrier to checking uh, tremendously. And I'll tell you, you know, even like professionals in this industry, when transferring large amounts of money, will just not read the whole address because they're too lazy. And uh, and this is bad UX. We should make crypto for people. Uh, you shouldn't have to be an expert to use cryptocurrency.